Welcome back and thank you very much for staying with the South African Morning. Now, as the ANC convenes its NEC meeting this weekend, it's, going, uh, it's doing so under the shadow of yet another harsh rebuke from former President Thabo Mbeki, who disapproves of the party's efforts to revitalize itself. ANC's renewal project uh, um, uh, strives to address and rectify the deep-seated problems that have drawn Mbeki's criticism. ENCA senior reporter Aviwe Mtila is on the ground following the story and joins us now. Aviwe, good morning. Thank you for bringing us the latest uh, from there this morning. What is the latest and what do we expect today? Good morning, and the German machines are already trickling in here at the Birchwood Hotel in Boxburg ahead of the NEC meeting. That's the African National Congress's uh, National Executive Committee that's set to meet here from today right up until the 16th. We'll be, they'll be delving into a myriad uh, issues. We do know they will kickstart, of course, with a photo opportunity just around 9 o'clock, led by President Silla Maposa, party and country president, and he'll be flanked by some of the NEC members uh, you'll see that the color that will dominate here will be black and they'll be wearing those Palestinian uh, kafirs uh, in solidarity with Palestine as of course uh, there is that conflict uh, that's happening currently in Gaza uh, with Hamas. Just to get maybe a bit more on what to expect today and some of what has already been in the spotlight, let me bring in the ANC spokesperson, national spokesperson uh, Sisma Sengi. Thank you for joining us at ENC. I already see you are draped in those kafirs. But maybe just outline what to expect and what will be the talking points inside the NEC meeting over the weekend. One of, of, one of these, of course, the AVUA would be reflecting on the state of uh, the crisis that's going on in, um, in terms of the Israeli-Palestinian uh, conflict. That's going to be one of the key areas that we're going to be focusing on. So what we're doing this morning isn't just a symbolic act of solidarity. It is more than just that. And uh, we will emerge with particular set of resolutions in terms of how we pursue the long-standing ANC policy on um, calling for self-determination uh, for Palestinian people and calling for two-state solution and uh, calling for um, accelerated humanitarian aid to the people of uh, Palestine as it, uh, this uh, conflict is raging. A number of other issues are going to be ventilated today, and these um, range from um, organizational matters where we're going to reflect on the process that we've embarked upon called the 2019 elections uh, manifesto review. We're going to look at what has come out and emerged from that process. We know that it has uh, been a hugely successful initiative by the ANC and also quite a novel initiative by the ANC. It is still ongoing. We still en route to our, uh, our wards, our branches, and all the VDs in the country, wherever the ANC has presence. Uh, we will also speak about uh, big issues in the area of service delivery. Uh, and uh, I would suggest that that will occupy almost 60 percent, if not more, um, of uh, the business of the NEC. And it certainly does deserve that 60 percent or even more time. Yes. Service delivery issues, we're seeing them plaguing areas such as Gauteng. There's hardly any water for many communities. And there are allegations of corruption where this is deliberately done by some of what is termed uh, water tanker mafias, destroying the infrastructure in order to get uh, tenders uh, for them to continue. What's been said so far ahead of the NEC meeting on some of these allegations and the water wars? Well, on the water wars, there is a very extensive presentation that has been made to the National Working Committee. So this has been packaged onward, uh, for onward transmission to, to this NEC that is sitting. So look out for the resolutions in as far as that is concerned. But I can also say that do remember that uh, the city of uh, Johannesburg uh, and the, the matter of uh, water shifting is one of the things that uh, both the city as well as national government, national government has also intervened there. Uh, but the point you're raising is correct, that beyond just that, there's quite a lot of illegality that is being committed. And uh, we're hoping uh, that uh, the resolutions that we will communicate on Tuesday will cover, uh, give some degree of comfort to our people, to the people of South Africa about the work we're doing in this regard, working with municipalities. Um, and of course, I spoke about water. Then, of course, we're going to talk about illegal mining and the wider thing around the Zamazamas. It's going to be an, an area of focus about what it is that we are doing to really clamp down on that. Uh, we will also have a look at um, the energy plan, how far we are with the energy plan, what are the successes, 
and uh, where do we still need to accelerate? We do know that there's a positive story in that regard, just in terms of how um, instances of load shedding um, have, uh, have, uh, have, uh, have uh, been reduced. And uh, those are some of the three things we're going to look at. We we'll look at the census report, 22 census report, reflect on its uh, findings and what it means for the work of the ANC and the mandate that the ANC has from, from the people of South Africa. So it's a very jam-packed National Executive Committee meeting. We have a total of about eight press briefings that are lined up for you colleagues in the media um, to have as much detail from us about the work that we're doing to make the necessary interventions in the area of service delivery in particular. Mm. Will you then discuss maybe some of what you've been hearing in the public domain? The latest being two days ago, uh, former President Thabo Mbeki suggesting that there's no renewal taking place in the African National Congress. And this is not the first time he's uttered such. Just about a month ago in UNISA, he shared the same sentiments and uh, the response from the President was that he needs to come and speak uh, internally with the African National Congress. But we've seen him uh, speak out once again about the lack of renewal from 2017. Is that something that you'll discuss inside? And I understand that the former president is he himself is part of the NEC. What will you be saying? Well, I cannot preempt what individual uh, um, NEC members will articulate. Um, of course, uh, the NEC is a very transparent organization. It's a very robust culture of engagements once we are inside NEC meetings. The utterances by, uh, by, uh, by uh, um, our former president, um, our elder, uh, when delivering the eulogy um, at uh, Comrade uh, Aziz Pahad's uh, memorial, um, are noted by the organization. Um, I've said to members of the media before that we don't make it a, a tradition to butt heads with our elders. Um, but uh, President Megi knows that he does have um, a, a platform here in the NEC, NEC um, to uh, take those matters further, as well as a platform with our national officials. And I think our national officials have often reached out, and um, I do trust that that will continue to happen. But uh, we are not in the, in the business of gagging our elders as well. All right. Thank you very much. The national spokesperson of the African National Congress. As we see, uh, some of the party members make their way inside. I see the Deputy Minister of Water and Sanitation there, uh, 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 David Mashwabo, as well as the ANC chairperson in KwaZulu Natal, uh, Sponiso Duma. It's been the spotlight currently uh, just around allegations of money that's been used from government in KZN uh, mm -hmm. to hold the summer awards that are happening uh, in November. Not the only matter, of course, that's in the spotlight when it comes to the African National Congress. We saw a spat even between um, the Colin Malaji, ANC Youth League president, and uh, the national chairperson. I'm seeing Water and Sanitation Minister uh, uh, Senzo Mtono. I'm not sure if you can hear us out. Mr. Mtono, sir. Uh, okay, he's walking <laughs> in there, of course, wearing those kafirs. Um, that suggests that they, you know, uh, in solidarity with Palestine. He's got a lot to answer to uh, mm -hmm. around the issues that are plaguing uh, the country when it comes to water and sanitation. Some of those that I've touched with, and we hear that, of course, some of those that will be delved into extensively in this NEC meeting. I was mentioning that fact that happened between Colin Malachi, the ANC Youth League president, as well as the national chairperson, Gwete Mandashe. The Youth League seems to suggest that they want 50% um, to be in those 50 percent uh, representation when it comes to the list that goes to the provincial legislature as well as the uh, national parliament itself and Guatemala in responding suggested that they first need to win over the universities that they seem to be getting defeats in when it comes to running uh, you know the universities there we see the electricity minister there as well Josien Ramachopa also draped up in black of course as we're expecting then at around nine o'clock President Sol Ramaphosa just to be doorstep stopped officially just uh, speaking to some of the members of the media uh, while largely speaking around uh, the issue and the ongoing conflict um, between Israel and Palestine and Hamas. Mm. Well, uh, Viva, thank you very much for that extensive report. I always, uh, uh, you know, uh, become very fascinated when I see uh, politicians in the same space like this. And we all know they've had public spats before. And I wonder if the smiles are really genuine. I would have loved to hear from Mathengi, who spoke to a viewer earlier, Jenna, on whether or not they'll discuss Nkosa Zanatlamini Zuma. The ANC has said that uh, she actually uh, went against the party line. This, of course, in Parliament when she uh, voted uh, for the Palapala report to be adopted 
erupted and then she was absent during the voting on the impeachment of the public uh, protector, which the ANC members were told to vote yes to. So I would have been interested to know if they're going to discuss that part of the public spat in the ANC today. <laughs> As always, I think they're going to use this opportunity to really display a unified ANC to <laughs> us. To... Not according to Tabo Begi. <laughs> Well, according to them, and, and of course, leading up to the elections, mm -hmm. as citizens, we will be closely watching these developments mm -hmm. here on ENCA to make sure that we understand the stance of the ANC on crucial issues that yeah. are affecting our daily lives. And that, of course, does inform the vote of South Africans next year.